Hi viewers, did you know that approximately 10 million Americans have osteoporosis and another 44 million have low bone density, placing them at an increased risk? Osteoporosis, which means porous bones, is a disease that results due to bone loss. People with osteoporosis are prone to fracturing their bones due to low bone density. In other words, the loss of bone tissue and low bone mass causes weak and fragile bone structure. There are certain signs that you can identify early on which indicate that you may be at risk for osteoporosis, and in today's video, we'll tell you what these signs are so that you can take preventative measures early on. From brittle nails, low physical activity, loss of height, age, frequent cramps, to bone pain, and many more. Watch till the end to find out all of them. Number 1. Your bones break easily an easily broken bone is often the first sign that your bones have lost strength. One of the most common broken bones caused by osteoporosis is the wrist. This is often a result of putting an arm out to break a stumble or fall. If you're older and less steady on your feet, a broken hip after an awkward fall is a sign that your bones have lost strength. Strong bones should be able to withstand a bump or impact of falling from standing height. So if you've broken a bone easily, speak to your doctor. Your doctor may refer you for tests to find out more about your bone strength and if you're at risk of breaking another. Number 2. You have low levels of physical activity. Osteoporosis has been linked to overall decline in physical fitness, as measured by aerobic capacity, muscle strength, and even balance. If your general fitness declines, it's likely that bone mass will also decline. Low levels of physical activity and prolonged periods of inactivity can contribute to an increased rate of bone loss. Lack of exercise is a risk factor for many chronic conditions, increasing your risk of falling and breaking a bone. Instead of feeling scared or worried by these changes, take the opportunity to put more attention on your personal health and longevity by taking care of your bones. Even women who have been sedentary their whole lives can make significant gains, and even people in their 80s and 90s have the ability to adapt and respond to both endurance and strength training. Enjoying this list so far? Well, keep watching because there's a lot more good stuff coming up. But before moving on, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos like this, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any updates. Number 3. State of Your Jaw one of the most common indications of osteoporosis is your jaw. Your teeth are connected to your jaw, and if your jaw is losing bone mass, the gums can begin to recede from the teeth. Your jaw is not as solid or as dense as the bones in your body, and therefore, bone loss usually occurs here first. If you experience symptoms of teeth problems, gum disease, or difficulty speaking and chewing your food, this may be a sign that you're experiencing a decrease in bone density. Number 4. Decrease in grip strength. As you grow older, one of the surest ways to reduce the risk of falling and fracturing a bone is knowing how to protect your bones. Those with osteoporosis are prone to fracturing bones due to low bone density. So, having a good balance, overall muscle strength, and grip strength are fundamental. If you're losing strength when holding on to things, this can be a clear sign that your muscles are weakening and the development of osteoporosis may be occurring. Number 5. You're naturally thin or small-framed. If your bones are small and thin to begin with, you have less bone to lose. People with small, delicate frames are likely to develop osteoporosis at a younger age. This doesn't mean that heavy or big-boned people don't get osteoporosis. It's just that people who are thin or small-boned don't have as far to go before they're at a risk for fracture. You reach peak bone mass and stop building bone when you're between 20 and 25 years old. And somewhere between 30 and 40, you start losing bone. The rate of bone loss depends on your genetics and how vigilant you are about your diet, exercise, and other factors that keep our bones strong. If you're under the age of 40, do everything you can in your 30s to build bone. Eat a diet high in dairy and other calcium-rich foods and get plenty of high-impact exercise, which is anything that involves running or jumping. If you're 40 or older, Continue to eat nutritiously, add a calcium, magnesium, vitamin D supplement, and do strength training exercise in addition to impact exercise. Strength training has been shown to prevent bone loss. Number 6. You're lactose intolerant or have other reasons for not drinking milk. Milk is one of the best bone builders, and it's not just because of the calcium. Vitamin D, an important ingredient in fortified milk, is even more important. Most American adults are severely D deficient, putting them at risk for not only weak bones, but several types of cancer. 
And store-bought milk, which is fortified with vitamin D, is one of the only dietary sources of this important nutrient. It's the calcium, vitamin D, and other minerals in the milk that are important, not the milk itself. Look for soy or rice milk that's been fortified with these nutrients and drink it regularly. Also, take a supplement that contains calcium, magnesium, and vitamin D as these three minerals work synergistically to build and protect your bone. Number seven, you have a first or second degree relative who had osteoporosis before the age of 50. Family history is a major indicator that your bones are weakening. If you come from a family where the older adults have a history of fractures, poor posture, or loss of height, chances are your family members had osteoporosis, whether or not it was ever diagnosed. And if they had it, it's likely you'll have it too. Compile a family health history by talking to your parents, grandparents, and anyone else privy to the family information. If you had a relative who suffered from osteoporosis, tell your doctor. If you're younger and your doctor has been resisting requests for your bone scan, this information will aid you in your quest, as doctors take family history very seriously. Number eight, loss of height. Another major sign of osteoporosis is loss of height and a condition that causes someone to look hunched over or having a stooped posture. The clinical term for this excess curvature is kyphosis. Losing height is a normal part of aging, but if you lose more height than average, that could be a sign of osteoporosis. Similarly, kyphosis, or being hunched over, is not a normal part of aging. Kyphosis comes with having those silent fractures in the back that are signs of osteoporosis. Number nine, emotional stress. New research suggests that stress may play a role in bone health. Women with high levels of stress had lower bone density six years later compared to those with lower stress levels. Exactly how psychological stress affects bones isn't well understood, but researchers believe stress contributes to system-wide inflammation, and inflammation can slow down osteoblasts, which are bone-forming cells, and promote osteoclasts, which are cells that break down bone. Other studies have also linked depression to lower bone density. Number 10, age. One of the biggest risk factors for developing osteoporosis is, unfortunately, age. Patients 50 and older are considered most at risk for developing the condition. Women who are 65 and older and men who are 70 and older should be screened regularly as well. They are at a heightened risk for having undiagnosed osteoporosis and could sustain greater injuries from a fall. Number 11, cramps and bone pain. Regular muscle cramps and pains are often overlooked, but otherwise well-known early symptoms of osteoporosis. It signifies a severe absence of vitamin D, the most important bone builder. There can be a good number of reasons causing leg pain and foot cramps, but cramps that occur at night often signify that the calcium, magnesium, or potassium levels in your body have dropped to low. If this situation were to persist over time, excessive bone loss could occur. Number 12, your nails chip or break easily. Both nails and bones consist of disulfide bonds that cause proteins to stick to one another. While nails are composed of hardened protein cells called keratin, bones are composed of collagen protein. If you've been constantly complaining about brittle nails that chip or break easily, it could mean that the disulfide bonds in your nails are weak and need to be strengthened. This could also hold true for the disulfide bonds in your bones. Weak nails or vertical ridges in your nails could also be an indicator that you need to add more calcium to your diet, and you may be at risk for osteoporosis. Number 13, your heart races faster than usual. This refers to the number of times your heart beats per minute while your body is undertaking any physical task. It's widely understood that your heart rate is a reflection of your fitness and physical capability. A resting pulse higher than 80 beats per minute may increase the risk of pelvis, hip, or spine fracture when getting up from a seated position. People who lead sedentary lifestyles are those who tend to have higher resting heart rates, especially those who are overweight. It's advisable to exercise regularly. You can practice 30 minutes of brisk walking, tennis, running, dancing, guided Zumba, or aerobic classes could be considered as well. Are you at risk for osteoporosis based on the signs that we mentioned today? Has anyone in your family had osteoporosis? Let us know in the comment section below. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait, what kind of Bestie would we be if we didn't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.